So most people agree that the Steam Deck is definitely one of the best handhelds at its price point, with that price point starting at around $400. But especially on the more expensive Steam Deck models, a lot of people have wondered if they'd be better off just getting a PC. After all, you could get a pretty good gaming laptop for the price of some of the higher end Steam Deck models. For example, the Steam Deck and this Ryzen Mini PC are both about the same price and about the same performance. But this is a computer and this is a gaming handheld. All of you are going to say, well, the Steam Deck is a computer. Well, just look at the physical difference. You know, this one's obviously meant for something that this one's not, even though it does run Linux. So that got me thinking. There's some people who are on edge about getting a Steam Deck because they think it might be more worth their money to get a laptop or a similarly priced computer. Can the Steam Deck do all the things that a computer can do? And by things a computer can do, I mean just basic word processing, consuming content like watching videos, and creating content. You know, editing videos, editing pictures, you know, etc. Basic computer things. In its standard gaming mode, really all you can do in the Steam Deck is play games. But that is what the desktop mode is for. Going to desktop mode and just adding in a few accessories really unlocks the full potential of the Steam Deck. First thing you're going to want to use your Steam Deck as a computer is a USB Type-C dock. Valve does make their own, it's a little pricey. This is one from Utex Mart, I reviewed it a while back. I believe it's about in the $30 range, but it's pretty high quality, and it has worked for me in all the time that I've used it. We have three full-sized USB 3 ports, which we're going to need for a lot of the expansion to make this work like a computer. So the first step, you can just place this and plug it into your Steam Deck. Now this very obviously has a HDMI output on it, and you can use this like a full-fledged desktop on a separate monitor. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to be shown, you know, on this screen. Here's just a Razer mouse that I've had lying around. All you got to do is plug it into the Steam Deck dock right here, and then you'll have a fully functioning mouse on your Steam Deck. And of course, it wouldn't be a desktop without a keyboard. It's getting a little cluttered in this setup with all the stuff we got going on, but here is a cheap 60% keyboard, just a royal clutch for anyone who's wondering. And we can use another one of the USB ports that the dock gave us to plug in this keyboard. All right, so now the keyboard's plugged in and fully working. You see I can navigate with these keys, hit enter, escape, you know, fully works. But we're still in gaming mode right here. The real interesting stuff happens on desktop mode. Just go to power and switch to desktop mode. So let's just put the dock under the Steam Deck, clean up the clutter a little bit. All right, so here is our desktop PC, I mean, you know, Steam Deck. So I have icons on the desktop, not for every game, but for a couple games, and I do have some browsers and things installed. So as far as I'm concerned, you can do everything on this that you can do on a regular Windows or Linux computer, such as this one right here. Obviously, you can connect to an external monitor and not even use the screen at all and use it just like a desktop. But because I have lights here, I figured it'd be easier to show on the Steam Deck screen. So first things first, main thing you do on a computer is browse the web. There's a couple different web browsers to get them. You go to the Discover Software Center, which is this little bag. And in here, you can use your keyboard to search for whatever browser you want. Just to name a few, they have Brave, Chromium, Firefox, Google, Edge, Opera, etc. So this is Firefox on the Steam Deck. And just like a regular PC, you can move it around, do whatever. And multitasking is very simple. If I have two tabs open, I can... Click on one, drag it all the way to the right, and have one all the way to the left, and it sections it off just like a desktop computer. So I can have two separate tabs with two separate things happening at the same time. So as far as, you know, browsing the internet, stuff like YouTube, Amazon, any other site work perfectly like a normal computer would, and you can use your keyboard and mouse to interact with them. As a matter of fact, let's open up a new tab, and just go to Amazon, and you can click and drag all the way to the right, and then click and drag this one all the way to the left, and then have multitasking. So everything's pretty responsive. The Steam Deck does have 16 gigs of DDR5, which is above par most of the mini PCs and gaming laptops in its price point. So, you know, I can come over here and click on my latest video, and, you know, the video will play just fine, and I still have Amazon open over here. So if I want to look at these earbuds on Amazon, for example, the point that I'm trying to make with this video is if you're afraid of getting a Steam Deck, because you think it would be better off to spend that same amount of money on a actual laptop or a desktop. You can do everything that you'd like to do on those on a Steam Deck. Plus, you can take it places. So obviously, internet browsing and all that works just fine. And if you want to do creative work such as photo or video editing, you could do it all on the Steam Deck just like you would a Windows computer. 
There are Linux versions of apps such as DaVinci, the video editor, but there are online versions of video editors and photo editors, so you don't have to install things to your storage. So this is just Pixlr, which is an online photo editor that I use for pretty much all of my thumbnails. All the different content creation stuff that you might want to do that you normally would need an actual computer to do, you can still do it on your Steam Deck if you buy a Steam Deck instead of a regular PC. And then lastly, gaming. Obviously, the Steam Deck is a gaming device. It's not necessarily a desktop computer. It does run Linux, so technically is a computer. It's sort of in its own handheld class of device. But in desktop mode, everything still works as you'd expect for gaming. But instead of having the gaming layout, it looks just like Steam would on a Windows or Linux PC. So I've opened Teardown in desktop mode, and as you can see, I have a you know, fully functioning cursor, and keys aren't doing anything yet, but let's get into the game and see what it does there. So keyboard is working full as you'd expect, mouse as well. And yeah, so if we were hooked up to an external monitor through this dock, it would be just like playing on a middle range gaming PC. So especially if you're someone that just rather is to play with keyboard and mouse, or you just want to get the Steam Deck to use portably sometimes, and then hook it up to a monitor and keyboard and mouse like a desktop. If you don't have a desktop, you absolutely can. The Steam Deck specs aren't half bad either, so you can get away with playing lots of different games as if it was a desktop. So yeah, you can use the Steam Deck pretty much in substitution of your big desktop computer, or if you don't have a desktop computer at all, you can just get a Steam Deck to use as a desktop computer. The entire reason I made this video is to kind of get rid of any of the doubts someone might have had about getting a Steam Deck because they thought that it might be a little more wise to get a desktop computer. But in reality, Steam Deck can do all of the things that a desktop computer can for much cheaper. So I hope you guys thought that this was, you know, entertaining, educational, whatever. But I hope this video can show you guys that the Steam Deck is really just a souped up tiny little computer. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all from me. I'm out. Peace.